The middle of March of 2016, I felt a lump on my right breast. After two weeks, I still felt the lump, so I asked my mom, who was a nurse, what her thoughts were. She said to mention it to my gynecologist in April. At the gynecologist, I explained I felt a lump on my right breast, the size of a peanut. A doctor immediately scripted a mammogram and an ultrasound. Both tests detected abnormal results and the lump was 0.88 centimeters, the size of an almond. A core needle biopsy was scheduled for May 2nd, 2016. On May 6th, 2016, my gynecologist called and explained that I had breast cancer. My parents, brother, and I were in utter shock, but I just remember hearing, this too shall pass. Shock is an understatement, but they do say that time heals all. Calls kept coming in throughout the day with appointments being scheduled for the weeks to follow. At the appointment with the breast surgeon, Dr. Gettler, I was diagnosed with triple negative invasive ductal carcinoma, the most aggressive and angriest form of breast cancer. I started chemotherapy May 26, 2016. My last day of chemotherapy was October 29th, and I was officially told I was cancer free December 15th, 2016. Never did I think I would be saying I have cancer. I was 34 years old, on top of the world, worked out almost every day, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, and I haven't gone through menopause. All actions that lower your risks of breast cancer. But sure enough, I'm still here saying I had breast cancer.